Welcome back to Channel 3 Eyewitness News on this Tuesday night. We continue our dinner time debate here live at Pepe's Pizzeria in Waterbury. You know, in addition to the governor's race and the congressional races being on your ballot this fall, there are also some amendments that you will get to vote on. One of them is the transportation lockbox. What exactly does that mean? Channel 3 Susan Raff is across town here in the Brass City in downtown Waterbury to explain. Susan? Dennis, I think that was the purpose of doing this or, or giving people an idea of what the amendment is, because many people will go to the polls and look at the ballot in November and will see this amendment and they'll want to know what it's about. It is about a lockbox. And the reason why we're in Waterbury is because there is a huge construction project here, a multi-million dollar project, but it is only a Band-Aid. The state will need a lot more money to finish the project and a lockbox, or the intent of which is to make sure that the money is there. The Mixmaster on Interstate 84 in Waterbury is a huge project. $150 million will be spent to repair roughly 12 bridges. But the fix is only temporary. Millions more will need to be spent. We have to have that honest conversation how we're going to fund transportation. Representative Tony Guerrera chairs the legislature's transportation committee. He supports a lockbox, the intent of which is to make sure that money raised from the gas tax, as well as registration and licensing fees, goes for transportation. Lawmakers have used this money for all sorts of things. The public may have a sense that sometimes that money that we put away for uh, infrastructure work gets used up, gets taken away. But the lockbox is not exactly foolproof. It still allows lawmakers to divert money going into the lockbox. It's not perfect and not ideal, say Republicans. They wanted a more secure lockbox. A spokesperson for the House GOP says people should not be fooled into thinking this is an ironclad solution to funding transportation. Lawmakers can still find ways around it by putting money in and taking money out. Governor Malloy says a lockbox will still protect money. But it's important because you know how budgets are made. And if you can't grab that money that day, you don't touch it. And that's why it's so important. Another hot topic right now are tolls. That's certainly been talked about this past legislative session and certainly on the campaign trail. And so the question might be, will a lockbox protect money that is raised from tolls? Well, the answer really is no. And simply for the fact that we are told that if tolls are approved in the near future or any time, the federal government requires any money that tolls take in be only used for transportation. But the rest of the money that the state gets right now would be used for that lockbox. But again, it is not foolproof, and the governor says it's not perfect, but it's better than having no lockbox at all. We are live in Waterbury. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Susan, thanks for explaining that to us in such detail. We appreciate it.